Welcome to our garden, our most beautiful garden, and this is Claudia. You know what? There is flowers everywhere, Claudia, and there is birds everywhere, but also lots of... Bees! Absolutely! Do you like bees? Yeah, cool. What do they do to you? Well, they make honey. Oh, yes, absolutely. And good stuff to eat, eh? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. But I think one thing they do is more important, that's pollination. Do you know what that is? I think it's when the bees take pollen from one flower to another. Bingo. Absolutely right. Now to show us, we got to borrow something from Auntie Judy. Let's go. These are lilies. And these are the red, orangey, sticky pollen of the lilies, which have to be transferred to the female of another flower of the lilies. And that is pollination. It's quite simple really, without pollination. There wouldn't be any apples. That's right. There wouldn't be any lemons and there wouldn't be any pears. Without pollination, there won't be any little beans whatsoever. Without bumblebees, we wouldn't have any tomatoes to eat. <laughs> so pollination is very important to plants because it gives them fruits and seeds and nuts and basically baby plants. Oh yes, it's all about reproduction. But have you ever wondered what pollen actually look like when you put them under the microscope? They are beautiful. They are so pretty and well adapted. You see, some pollen go through the air. They're dispersed by winds. Others are dispersed by birds. They have little barbs on them that stick to the feathers of the birds. Some pollen are licked up by geckos. Yep, they lick the plants, they lick the nectar, and they take the pollen from flower to flower. There are even flowers that are pollinated by bats. Now get that, bats in the middle of the night. But most of the pollination, of course, is done by insects. Now let's take a look at what insects pollinate. There are flies, oh yes, flies. There are beetles, sometimes really small, tiny beetles that go from flower to flower. Of course, there are also native bees that live in holes in the ground, but they pollinate, for instance, tea tree, manuka, all sorts of native plants. They do a fantastic job. So why are all these insects and birds, geckos and bats for that matter, attracted to pollinate the flowers? Well, they get a reward. Nectar! That's the reward! Mmm! I bet you've never seen this before, eh? Here's a flex flower, and when you squeeze it, look, you can see the moisture coming out now. That is nectar. That's what all these pollinators are after. Neat, eh? Oh, and by the way, can you see these lovely orange pollen? They are so bright. They really stand out saying, eat me. <laughs> So all these insects, Claudia, take the nectar, and what do bees do with it? They take it to the hive. Yeah, and what then? They make honey. That's right, they do. Do you like honey? Yeah. Do you know when the bees get into the hive, you know how they put the, the nectar out of their system and into the hive? You know how they do that? Yeah. Do you still like honey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know that honey is really good for you, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever wondered why honey is so good as a medicine? Yeah, I yeah. have. Well, what is it? I don't know. Can you tell me why? If you are a plant and you want pollinators to come to give you seeds and fruits and to do your reproduction for you, mm -hmm. and you give them a reward called nectar, you've got to make sure that the nectar is in perfect condition. No fungi, no germs, no bacteria, no rubbish. So you put very good preservatives into the nectar. So when the bees then take the nectar to the nest and make it into honey, it is chock full of goodies. And that's why honey <laughs> is so good for you. Mm. Delicious. <laughs>